One of the biggest challenges of discovering God's will is all of us have a little bit or a lot, some of us, common sense. We think we want to go this direction. This seems to be the best direction, but why should we seek God's will instead of just seeking our common sense? Because God will take you on paths that you actually want to go on in your spirit, but maybe your flesh you don't want to go on. Seeking God's will is eternal. Seeking our common sense and our desires and our will is very temporal. It's temporary. We don't know what's around the next bend. We don't know what's around the next corner, but God does. And when we seek God's will, we're not only putting an investment in what's happening today, we're putting an investment in what's happening tomorrow, next week, and then in all of eternity. So seeking God's will over our common sense or our desires is difficult and it's a challenge, but it is the best thing. It's the thing that we need to be desiring in our spirit because he will lead us on a path. Many times in my life, I've seen things that I've said, you know what, I need to do this, and this is God's will, and this is what the Lord's leading me to do. And it wasn't for a year or maybe even two years that I've discovered why that is. But then when I discover why he led me on that path, it's so sweet at that time. So don't seek just your common sense. Put it to use, but don't seek that to be the direction of your life. Seek God's will for your life because that will take you a lot further than your own common sense will.